بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وعن أبي النجيد بضم النون وفتح الجيم عمران بن الحسين الخزاعي رضي الله عنهما النمرأة من بني النمرأة النمرأة من جهينة أتت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وهي حبلا من الزنا فقالت يا رسول الله أصبت حدا فأقمه علي فدعا نبي الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وليها فقال أحسن إليها فإذا وضعت فأتني ففعل فأمر بها نبي الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فشدت عليها ثيابها ثم أمر بها فرجمت ثم صلى عليها فقال له عمر رضي الله عنه تصلي تصلي عليها يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وقد زنت قال لقد تابت لقد تابت توبة لو قسمت بين سبعين من أهل المدينة لو وصعتهم وهل وجدت أفضل من أن جادت بنفسها لله عز وجل رواه مسلم أبو نجيد سيدنا عمران بن الحصين الخزاعي May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala be pleased with both them be pleased with both of them reported a woman from the tribe of Juhayn came to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam while he while she was <coughs> while she was pregnant from zina adultery and said to him O messenger of Allah I have committed an offense liable to had prescribed uh, prescribed the punishment prescribed the punishment so exact the execution the execution the execution of the execution of the sentence rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam called her guardian and said to him treat her kindly Bring her to me after the delivery of the child. That man compiled with the orders. At last, the Prophet ﷺ commanded to carry out the sentence. Her clothes were secured around her, and she was stoned to death. And she was stoned to death. And she was stoned to death. to death the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam led her funeral prayers umar radiyallahu anhu submitted o messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam she committed zina and you have performed funeral prayer for her he sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied verily she made repentance which would suffice for 70 of the of the people of al madina verily she made repentance with which would suffice for 70 of the people of al madina if it if it is divided among them can there be any higher degree of repentance than that she sacrificed her life voluntarily to win the pleasure of allah they exalted this hadith was narrated in sahih muslim this hadith highlights the following five points one it confirms the validity of the punishment of rajm for the adulterer that is to say that he be stoned to death number two the merit of sincere um repentance Number 3 the description of fear of Allah as well as of 
account accountability on the day of resurrection by the prophet's companions and their preference and their preference for punishment of the sins in this world rather than in the hereafter for it is permissible it is permissible to perform the funeral prayer of one who has been guilty of major sins provided he has not been taking them as lawful because in that case there there is danger of disbelief of kufr number 5 a pregnant woman cannot be punished with rajm until she gives birth to the child and the period specified for suckling the baby is completed صلى الله تبارك وتعالى العافيه والعفه يا اسك الله تبارك وتعالى تو بروتكت اس فروم زنا اند فروم اني سين اند الله تك اكسبت ما هي سبحانه وتعالى اكسبت اور جود ديتس اند جرانتس جنه امين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه